Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Wes from Slidenote here. In this video, we're gonna talk about local variables and instance variables from a practical perspective using NetBeans. Now in the last video, I was talking about these things in a simple conceptual explanation or you can say a presentation where I showed exactly how variable lifecycle works. Here, let's take a look at a simple example, try to understand what works and what doesn't work. So what I have here is nothing great, just a class something and there is a main method inside which is completely empty let me first make a class called person let me put an instance variable called first name which is of type string I'll do the same kind of instance variable called last name I'll try to create a method called display that takes no arguments and returns nothing in other words it's a public void display let me write that so inside this method let's try to do something I'm gonna say system.out.println control space here I'm gonna simply say first name just gonna try to print it out again I'm gonna just simply try to print last name out and that's all I'm doing now if you guys notice very well I have not given any values to these two variables let's let me make another boolean here by saying boolean test is no value again let me just try to print this boolean variable and see exactly what I get over here so all I gotta go to my main method here make an object of person by saying person p equals to new person just construct the object first then call the method display by saying p dot display let's try to see what happens I say control s to save file shift f6 to run the file now if you guys notice here it says null null false so where did these values come from like we discussed these three are instance variables all the instance variables get default values whether you give something or not hence when you try to print them out you're gonna print those default values for example boolean has a default value of false now let's go ahead inside the display method try to make a local variable you guys remember a variable inside the method is called a local variable I'm gonna say something like double or let me take a simple integer I'm gonna say int number and something like just like that now I'm let me let me try to print that value here I'm gonna say number here now if you guys notice now this is the point where you get an error it says number might not have been initialized in other words you can use instance variables without initializing them because they are initialized by this constructor here when you call new person but when you declare a local variable and when you try to use it without giving a value Java is gonna give you an error in other words you have to give a value over here as you guys notice now the error goes so I say control s shift f6 I can see 0 over here and that's how local variables work now let me make a variable over let me make another method over here I'm gonna say public void test something like that now we, if you guys remember int number is 0 over here let me try to print that over here by saying system dot out dot print ln number now if you guys notice this number variable is not accessible inside this method and that is because it is only accessible inside the method where it is declared however if I go here and if I say first name that's perfectly accessible that means instance variables are accessible inside every method except static ones and the normal local variables are accessible only inside the method in which they are defined and that is all about variable lifecycle again you can have a parameter here by saying something like int p in that case you, you'll get an error here let me just pass some value for namesake I'm gonna say phi over here and this int p again cannot be accessed inside another method for example if you go to test and say p over here that's not gonna work because this p is known only inside this method and exists only as long as this method runs so that is the difference between local variables parameter variables and instance variables instance variables you don't need to give them a value because you use the constructor and that gives the value if you guys are not sure what a constructor is don't worry we're talking about it in the next video but local variables always need to be given value before you try and use them also let me show you one more thing here there's uh, let me remove this int number here also let me remove the parameter p over here and make it just the way it was before now inside the display I'm gonna do something new I'm gonna say first name which is actually a string I'm gonna call some method on it by saying first name dot something like length let's try to see what happens control s shift f6 so you guys notice it says java dot lang dot null pointer exception in other words you cannot call methods on a variable whose value is null if you guys remember here 
the values are not initialized hence they are null here and calling methods on null values is considered an exception in Java which is very specifically the null pointer exception so how can we avoid this exception very simple you just put an if condition here and say if first name not equals null then only make the print statement otherwise do not do that let's see this in action say control s ship f6 now there is no error in other words you're checking whether first name is null or not and then only you're trying to call the method now this is very important when you're working with stuff like Android because there if you have an exception your entire app is gonna crash and that's why you want to make sure that you are careful about what type of variable you're trying to print here inside a print statement or trying to use before you initialize it so hopefully you guys have understood something about how local variables instance variables and all this stuff works put together in Java if you guys like what you saw please like this video comment on this video subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you guys in the next video where we talk about constructors thanks for watching and have a nice day